Hello, this is for a general audience and specifically for Kim Richmond. Kim Richmond, uh, thank you for your work and your passion and uh, just knowing that you're there looking to serve and fulfill a purpose that matches the Torah or the Old Testament to me is, is amazing. Um, I know that there are people looking out for a Mashiach Ben Yosef, possibly another, possibly Ben David. Uh, there's no speaking of these two might be combined in one. They might be the tying roots of the two tribes in Ezekiel 37:15, the two sticks. I believe those are musical. Uh, I believe they're tied in to also the, the uh, prophet in Ezekiel 33, 31, 32, 33. We can also see these things being tied in with Genesis 1:14 the stars, uh, Psalms 19, 1 through 6, uh, Daniel 2, 21, showing that the Lord raised the kings up, and really the Lord is the one who puts the information in the stars and in the sky, who's telling us who's ruling at this time, and this time is 2011. We just saw some uprising in Egypt, we've also seen the king's speech, we see Camelot out there with a person who has a right, we saw the movie Right come out, where the priest named Michael we saw Alpha and Omega, uh, voice connected, voice related, Alpha and Omega, uh, Libra, libraries, the Libra is the balance, Libra is still rooted in the Lyra, which is the Lyra, and that's where we're getting the Statue of Liberty from, is the daughter of David. It can't be anybody else. They're using White Castle in National Treasure, they use Michael standing by, the, by this temple thing, a stairway to heaven, a man saying, oh, you're a really big man, it must be significant for them to organize those words. These people are clearly sending the American people and all the people of the world that they don't know what's happening. And that's the message even in Legion. Uh, the black man says, I don't know, I read my Bible and nothing like this ever happened. So truly I believe the whole world is fooled and just knowing some other stories could stop us from knowing what we need. So I hope that wasn't too long, but um, I, I really I'm, I have a passion for this that that's really I could just cry right now and tell you I, you know, I haven't spent too much time. So, but um, I, well, I guess I've been working on this for about 30 seconds. Well, really, all the things from the humming, from the moment that you start musically, five years old, six years old, we start analyzing information, who we are. A person might not even might be 70 and not even know what the meaning of their name is. And then somebody else will say, oh, you can't go by that because the meaning of these names means something else. But for the children of Israel, from the line of Aaron and the line of David, those names were marked. They've always been marked. And this is these Chrysaetos that are mentioned, or they're, they're questioned, the set, uh, the figures and the set pattern. And they're going to match with these two. So they both need to be classified as gatekeepers. They're on the Ark of the Covenant. They're at the gatekeepers in uh, the Garden of Eden, and they're going to be classified as lexicons, law icons, that can never be changed. That's why they'll be found in every language. So we have diplomatic immunity. We're looking at the gatekeeper family, which is definitely necessary uh, throughout the Bible, too. We have 38 occurrences. Here in particular, we have the occurrences, uh, several pages of them, pointing to the gatekeepers for the restoration of the temple, uh, the treasury, trust very trustworthy positions and that's going to outdo the co anim right now but this is a Kohathite gatekeeper which will be marked carrying the family of Aaron Porten for now perpetual from before perpetual line of Aaron before Porten now omen that's what the movie's about and they always turn that omen person into the antichrist so there's the switch right there there's the switch we're stomping on the two information that's what we need to fix for everybody because they've been practicing witchcraft on everybody. And in those movies they have, if I'm not mistaken, the gatekeeper, Michael, uh, he's in Legion, he's in the end of days battling the devil, he's in Legends, Tom Cruise battling the devil successfully, saving the last princess before they go into Golden Age. How many of these movies are there? Fifth Element, Jewish Royalty Soprano, we have Alpha and Omega, we have uh, the movie that just came out with also is, uh, uh, I always get this one wrong, The Garden, uh, Legends of the Guardian. Uh, we have uh, Kings and Queens. They have the King's Speech out right now. They have Akila, the Golden Eagle. This person trying to tie his royal 
insignia back in gold. So what they're doing, sir, and everybody, is they're putting out a mockery of movies that have the information that you can never untie, and you can never relate them to the two seals of the, in, the Independence Declaration. Those are two uh, family ensigns that will carry the names, because they're not family ensigns, they're actually individual insignias that were ordained and designed that way from the beginning, and that's why you'll see them virtually in everything, in mechanics, numbers, and stars, you'll see them on sponsors logo for vehicles, you see them practicing witchcraft on movies, once you see the template exposed, it's virtually in every movie, from Narnia to Defiance, Eagle's Eye, it goes on and on and on and on and on, it's mind-boggling, mind-boggling that this stuff is right in front of everybody's eyes, it makes me sick, and I probably didn't even represent those things, I've already, already went off, they have Gulliver travel where the girl's going, but I am the princess! yelling. Meanwhile, they're showing us another of a false root who's getting married, and they're showing everybody, oh, this will be the princess. Meanwhile, the other princess, I believe, was pulled in by witchcraft through to Hollywood, through these movies and music. So, back to the gatekeepers. The gatekeepers are going to be very intelligent. They're going to have lots of uh, faith, wisdom, a good relationship with the Lord. This is going to restore the temple. It has to be the gatekeepers, or the porters. Porters is last. Gatekeepers is also a definition. So we're looking for the old, the old Porterius Latin, the one that's going to come closest to that. That's why they say you find them at the gates of Rome. But they also there's another person or vehicle coming from La Aquila, 2009. So this is we have the gatekeeper here. That's that's the dictionary. That can't change anywhere in the world. And until these people are found, then the Lord won't endorse what needs to be done. So you might consider sending out submarines for those people. Their names, the importance of names, the meanings of names have meaning. Things have, excuse me, things have meaning. Names have meaning still to this time, even if they're not revealed to us yet. But the obvious ones will be revealed. The Lord has told us that. It's Chryseatos, Aquila, uh, the chief musician. You'll find him walking even through, through music, even if they don't do it on, their, on purpose. You'll see that even if Lucifer will be leaving a template against, because it's just going to be natural of the pi phi, the magnetics, you know, north south, uh, positive negative. Here's the Gen Tracer showing that uh, Calabria is uh, really the heel of Italia. Calabria, that's where my family comes from, the Portero Rose, the Gatekeeper family, and it's a rare name. There's under 500 households, or about 500 households in the whole world, which is still considered a rare name. So Calabria, Jewish, 50% Italia, there's the connection right there in names. It can't be disconnected to the Israeli family. But that's called uh, crypto-Jew because that's why there's so many changes, but they all mean the same thing. So reversing it back is not a problem, and actually it's not only legal, but foundational. Wow, wrap your mind around that one. That's why they're doing all these movies, because they're trying to show everybody that there's a person walking among, like the Watchmen. They go, is it true that you? And they make it like a cartoon. So you people not knowing the Bible allows them to burst out Ben Gates through a tomb, you know, and you not know they're making reference to Daniel 12. Um, so we have the meanings and definitions for uh, Michael in Daniel 12. Um, he has to stand up. It's an entitlement for the title. That's what's going on there. It's about heraldry. And the information to support that heraldry will be found in the Declaration of Independence because those people weren't messing around. They knew people were practicing witchcraft on them already. So they created something that was smarter than the people around them could figure out. And no, you can't just look at how people are treating us. You have to understand that they're walking in something that doesn't mean or represent anything that they stand for. And we need to put those lexicons back to the people, the individuals. Which I have already done the work. I have both diplomatic communities, and we're ready to roll. And I should probably stop there. Here's more. Supporting evidence. You have to support evidence. And, you know, there is something called the Omega Code. But Michael's name will be found found in the Omega Foundations. That, that puts it all the way through the Bible. That's scary. Um, showing here again is the tribes of Israel. Uh, and these people are expressed by their names. Princes of the tribes. So... Uh, and so anyway, we know the gene genealogy, so we don't have to go back slowly. We just have to find foundational names in the Bible, connect, show they're still alive, 
for uh, entitlements, things like entitlements. Let me see, I'm kind of in the dark here right now. Um, etymology, it means what a word means. It still means, regardless of how you use them. Um, words are still being used by God in, in the way he's so. Everyone's going to be surprised, especially when they drive 90 and the numbers say 65. Um, so anyhow, but, but we're having a trouble. This is in title, I believe. And throne and title and title. You see the word title in there. And it's almost like the words as we go forward were epitomized before for these things to come out and for somebody to stand in and show that they were built around the name. Here's the temple offices restored. That's right from the Torah right there. And that's in Nehemiah. Wow, that's pretty powerful. Praise the Lord. Praise God Almighty. So anyway, Kyle Rickman, I'm showing you, giving you evidence that I believe that the two sticks are having to do with the musician. This is codices right down here. This is, uh, I'll go a little faster, I was given the Good Samaritan Award in 2009. I couldn't help but notice in 2010 that uh, 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 Michael showed up in a, in a police car on, uh, in Legion. Michael the Angel, he cuts his wings off. He also has musical, musical lines on his like notes, like verses and Versa, Nissan, all it's all, it's all completely tied. And so the people who designed the government knew that there was a, going to be a human being who represented these things and would have that name. And, and he'll get all these institutions into a name as soon as he has to stand up and prove that they're walking in his name by symbol, which is totally legal in any, in any company form to identify. But if that's identifying something different, it will go into the hands of what that identifies by dictionary. So when we hear about dictators and things like that, they tack that name to a person like that because he was dictating things, but he wasn't dictating them by the Bible, by in any sense of the word, because these things are all built in Hebrew. So anyway, this is it for right now. And what we also want to show, I mean, let me see, let me go a little faster. We went to the pictures, but is there anything else? Let's show here. Here, some more. This should be uh, Shumash, showing that Shumash is uh, the Pentateuch, the Torah, and the, the five books. My last name is Portero, and there's also something called Metathesis, which mixes with Metaverse, which Portero, it's right there. It's, it's, that's, that's one that will never change. Aquila, this is on the Shumash wall, uh, up in, uh, I'm not saying that they're Jewish, I'm saying that they're of uh, Japheth in origin, and they were always carrying this raptor, Chrysaetos. You see, see, there it is again, raptor. Metathesis, you can catch the word Portero right in there. Not in my, my name. I'm saying the word as a, as a pointer, as a gatekeeper, that's there. Then I jump into that word and I go through my whole family, my whole life, and I only have to explain it to you, Kaim, and the Sanhedrin, and, and that's it. And uh, my, whole, my whole life. And people have to be wondering what's, what's happening. Here's to the chief musician. We see Talmud is looking for Aquila. Many people have Aquila at the top of the Unicode which is also referred to as the Star of David, but in that is the writing. So all the writing that's used, alphabetic, in all the languages, is carrying the four Trump positions in those positions uh, through the larynx, through linguistics, and that's going to prove to the people that God did this a long, long time ago, but we have to prove that those humans are alive, and we have to prove that they're doing witchcraft on those humans, and that's what this list is meant to do. And this list, we can also find evidence in the 1971 lyrical song list. You'll find Lyra, Metathesis, excuse me, Metathesis in Liar, the song Liar, but you'll also find A Natural Man, Family Affair, uh, I Likes to Do It, All Day Music, I Play and Sing, The Drum, One Man Band, Absolutely Right, We Can Change the World, Eagle Rock, uh, Me and My Arrow, Me and My Arrow, did I show it? Did I just put anything up like that? Me and My Arrow. So these are the kinds of things I'm walking in, and these are actual, really, real documentable para, uh, axiom, parallel, parallel. It's happening to me, and I don't, it's not going to go away. It's just very hard to be humble and to also be positive and tell you what needs to be done where I'm concerned. And I'm not telling you what needs to be done where I'm concerned. I'm hoping that people will understand that if you can't find him on your own, then you'll have to be invisible by a name, a title, entitlement name. And I can show you the movies right now. It even says, uh, this is the end of the innocence. It says, they're 
turning plowshares into swords. That's the opposite for the titled man who's the elected king. So somebody's practicing witchcraft on us, clearly, because Jesus is not a titled man, and no one's titled man for now. So no one's looking for now or person, which leaves a big vacuum. Anyhow, anyway, so here's the supporting evidence for the movies. There's just too many to go through, but they're all, you know, uh, Aquila, the Golden Eagle, we got the King's Speech, we got Camelot, you know, the woman saying, it's my birthright. Uh, we got Gulliver before, I am the princess. It's all, it's all there. They keep doing this to us, and there is no such thing as prince and princess. But they know that there is, and that's what I'm afraid is coming. So you, please just, uh, I'll stop right now, right there, review. And if I've got put some good information out and you want to go forward, then please do.